everyone. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Summit Sunrise Monday morning. We're here in the studio with Aaron from Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea. This is my favorite part of Mondays. I love it. Today I have an Earl Grey cream tea. Yes, you do. Which tastes like we're talking about like dipping short bread into cookies. like cookies. Yeah, it's just so good. It reminds you of like afternoon tea and you should yeah. be in England and you should raise your pinky. Tea and crumpets. Yes. Yes, we'll have a tea party today. Well, tell us about Red Buffalo. Tell us Absolutely. everything that's going on right now, too. Well, Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea, we're a family-owned coffee shop in Silverthorne, so we're just uh, one half mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit, so that's 358 Blue River Parkway. We're open seven days a week, 6.30 to 5.30, although we will be closed on Christmas Day, so just to give people a heads up about that. And we love to have people, and we like to say, if you can think of it, we can make it with uh, your beverage of choice. We do um, all sorts of espresso drinks. We have all sorts of fun seasonal ones right now. We have an eggnog latte, but you also I need to try <laughs> the eggnog chai, because that's, oh, that's just so even better. Um, and then, what, like we said, we love to put quality ingredients into our drinks. You know, we, all of our teas, we brew only from a loose leaf tea. So we have over 30 different types of loose leaf tea which if you're thinking about a great Christmas present for your friends or family, that's a little different. You're saying something different besides a scarf or a necktie or a pair of socks. Right. You know, tea and coffee is such a great gift and loose leaf tea just, it's, it's a whole sensation. They open it up, they get to smell it and then they get to drink it and it's right. just, you know, touch all the senses in one go. Well, even with this we're talking about, because I mean, it's just so unique to Earl Grey teas. You were saying how, yes. you know, they have that strong flavor. Usually in this one, like the way you guys just put your own creativity into it and make it just so, it's yes. amazing. <laughs> Earl Grey, some people don't like the taste of bergamot that much. And then when you get it right, when you get it just right, Earl Grey is an amazing tea. But yeah, sometimes the Earl Grey from a bag, this, the oil of bergamot that's in it just isn't quite on par. So if you haven't really tried loose leaf teas, you need to come in, try out our loose leaf teas. It'll just change your perspective. So many people would drink tea because, oh, I don't drink coffee, so I should drink tea. Instead, people who love espresso and who love coffee will come in and be like, you know, I want a tea today because that sounds... That right. sounds good. Because you have so many different flavors and it's just, I mean, the ingredients are amazing and yeah. the way you guys go about it. It's awesome. Well, tell us too, like, I know you guys have, uh, it's local, so we're yes. supporting our local community, but you also do a lot for the community as well, the Adopt, Adopt an Angel. Yes, um, the Adopt an Angel program was a one, and I think today's the last day you could probably drop off gifts. Uh, you can drop them off with us or at the Silverthorne Police Station or the Fire Department. And what that does is it helps provide kids for families who've had a rough year and wouldn't be able to provide gifts for their children this year. And so that's the Adoption Angel program sponsored by the uh, Silverthorne Police Department, and we're a drop-off center for that. We also raise funds for the Food for Kids Over Break program. A lot of kids in the Summit School System, and particularly at Silverthorne Elementary. Uh, it's a hardship for some of their families to provide enough food on the table uh, over the break, and so this program helps provide non-perishable goods for when they go home. And then we are also a uh, book sale center for the Summit County Friends of the Library. So if you're thinking about a really good gift that's really inexpensive and they're in great shape, the library brings by books that they're not gonna put on the shelves or were donated, and they're, they choose really good shape and new titles too, things that are on right. the bestseller list and they're from like two to five dollars and all the proceeds go to the Summit County Libraries which when we know the county might has to start cutting budgets libraries are usually the first hit but we also know they provide amazing resources to our communities and so we like to help them out by selling some of their books and I love to get the first pick on them but I try to leave some of them for other people if I them. <laughs> and you have all age levels that's the thing we too do. so there's something suitable for everybody we have kids books we have uh, you know Fifty Shades of Grey was on there just this morning, so I'm not sure if it still is in there. And uh, we also have some travel books, too, like Hiking in Colorado, or uh, I think there was a book on traveling to Russia. So if anyone's thinking about going to Sochi, I know a little bit's changed since that last <laughs> one was published, but not too much. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we have some great book titles. And, and, of course, we have some food options as well if someone wants to come in and get you know, a little breakfast burrito, some pastries. Uh, we're your one-stop place. You can come, hang out, use the wireless Internet. If you need a fax or print something, we have That's that too. That's why I love that you offer that as well. And you yeah. have games, you have, we I mean, do. there's just so much Little to just, you can go there and get all your holiday shopping done, get your teas, your coffees, pick gift out a book, card. gift card. Yep, yeah. everything you need. And yeah, and kids are welcome too. We have a little like uh, kids hot cocos and um, one of my favorite things, it's not on the menu, but we like to say, if you can think of it, we can make it. And I've had people order it. It's called a baby Tino. So it's like a cappuccino, but with no espresso. So really, it's like just like that. steamed foam. Yeah. So it's not just like steamed milk, it's steamed foam. And kids love it. That sounds really neat. I might have to come and check them out. And you guys yeah. have great views too, like I said. So you can go there and just sit outside and 
pick it all in, especially now the weather's warmer this week. So. The weather is warmer. We do have a little heater on our back patio too. So whether it's warmer doesn't necessarily mean right. it's cozy outside. You can get a warm tea and warm up or a warm exactly. coffee. Exactly. Go sit right by the river. I have to touch on they have. I mean, she said you can make it, or you think of it, they can make it. Nutella. They have a Nutella, yes. the smoke stack, smoke smoke stack latte. latte. Nutella's yes. in there. I real Nutella, not it. just like yeah. try to mix the flavors into it, but we got real Nutella in there. So. Awesome. And then also I love that you guys do a lot to conserve the environment. We did look over going green earlier, but just give us a little bit on that real Absolutely. Quick. So we did a big initiative in June 2011 where we went zero waste. We switched all of our... Uh, Disposable goods are compostable, so this may look like a standard paper cup with a wax lining and a plastic lid, but no, this is all made from a plant product. Even the drinking cups that look like little plastic ones are actually, again, a starch-based product. So we compost everything, or recycle. So compost and recycling, we do everything like that. Then we also switch all of our light bulbs to their next up in terms of efficiency. So the halogens became LED light bulbs, and that alone cut our lighting down by um, about 50%, just the, the lighting stuff. And then of course the incandescents are CFLs. And we really tried to do our best to make sure that, you know, we know that as a restaurant, we could essentially produce a ton of waste, whether in electricity or um, in disposable goods or in waste and food goods. And we wanna make sure that when we come in, we have as little of a footprint as possible. So I think we did the calculation since we switched over just our lighting just the lighting alone, we've saved 4,000 kilowatt hours. That's amazing. So I think that was like the equivalent of like 26 acres of yeah. the carbon sequestration of 26 acres. Your carbon acres. footprint greatly, yep. yeah. Well, so there you go. If you support Red Buffalo, you're supporting the local community, you're supporting the environment. You're also, you know, you're also getting a great drink yeah, too. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> great drink, food, or, you know, great experience altogether, a great Absolutely. environment. Especially now, go in there, check it out. Like they said, today is the last day for to offer um, for the Adopt Angel program. So yep. drop off your goods today. Check out a new tea or coffee and get some gifts. Thank you for joining well, us, Well, thanks Aaron. for having we'll me today. We'll see you next week. I can't wait. Yes. Uh, we'll be right back.